Hey, Natalie, how are you doing? So great. I'm really excited about today's topic, uh, especially I feel like, yeah, it's a good one for us. We're talking about where to shoot your YouTube videos. We're talking lighting, locations, and maybe even some tips for cameras so that you can be beautifully lit. 100% because this is a huge thing that stops many future YouTubers is like, I don't have the proper equipment. So why the hell bother to even create a YouTube channel? If I don't have the latest model and the camera, I don't have a ring light. I don't have the proper equipment to prop my laptop up and all of that. But in fact, you actually don't need all that much, especially when you're getting started. There are a whole bunch of different ways that you can create YouTube videos and get the best possible lighting and all of that with minimal investment. 100% agree with you. So for number one, let's start with location. So if you're in your home, I would say your best bet is finding a well-lit spot beside a window where you can get all of this glorious natural light. So my cousin always says on Zoom, like, what ring light do you have? I'm like, the, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the best possible light that you can have. Right now, even though I also have a ring light next to me, and we'll be talking about that in a bit, I'm literally seated right in front of a huge window and that's all that matters. Even if I did not have an extra ring light, that light would provide me with enough well-lit area for these videos to have success and for you to be able to see me. Yeah, and like a pro tip also. Uh, so I used to be a photographer, guys. So if you also want to take flat lay photos for your Instagram, the best place to do that is right beside an open, bright, sunny window. Like nothing beats natural light. And I get that. You can't always have natural light. And so that's where I would choose a location. You know, just prop up your laptop. If you have a webcam, Marina, uh, show us the webcam that you have oh. because that's the same one I'm using. This one over here. Super. How much was it? It was really cheap. I feel like... I don't even remember, but it wasn't expensive at all. And that's one of the things, like I literally posted all of my YouTube videos using my laptop's own built-in camera before upgrading to this. So I actually have been on YouTube for maybe like two years and I used the like, camera that came with my laptop. And just now when I had more money to invest in my channel, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade and buy an actual camera. It was maybe around $50 or $70, something along those lines. So if you have the money, once you do have the money to reinvest in your channel, you can get to something like this, but it's not essential for your success. You can also use your cam, your phone, your phone camera, so right? True. You just need to make sure you have enough memory to, to save the files, but a phone, the camera in a phone is pretty incredible. Okay, so let's keep talking about lighting because Marina, you're always in a new spot. You guys <laughs> always see me in the exact same spot. So what do you do when you are, you know, at a, you know, a new, you know, rental property or wherever you are in the world? Um, <laughs> how do you make sure that you're well lit? 100%. So I always try to be seated in front of a window with natural light. Uh, of course, that isn't always possible, especially since sometimes when you're in the winter, there isn't that much natural light in your favor. So even though that's number one, number two would be instead of going out and buying a ring light is actually getting a lamp, uh, even if it's one that's on your bedside table or something like that that's a pro not really big that you can prop up in the table right in front of where you're seated, turn that on because even that little bit of light will make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And once you do have the resources to reinvest back in your channel, then you can go ahead and actually purchase a ring light. So I actually just purchased a new ring light myself and that's actually was super, super cheap. I think it was just $15 for a set that only came with a small portable ring light. <laughs> that's exactly where it is right now. This very second it's propped on top of a lamp. So what I was talking about lamps is totally true. I just propped the ring light on top of the lamp and it came with a set with this small ring light as well as a tripod for your phone. So even if you want to record your videos with your phone camera, you can have that in between the ring lights. Just make sure that the phone is set horizontally so that you get the exact proportions that you need for your YouTube videos. 
Love that. And I'll put the links to all of that down below. So speaking of winter, I know it gets dark and something that I use is I remember a while back, I bought this super cheap, like studio lighting kit where it has like three light bulbs and umbrellas. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like so lighting fancy. umbrellas. Sorry, I'm blocking my light there. So what I do in the winter is I'm going to turn my camera. So sorry. Okay. You see that light right there? Mm -hmm. uh, so basically it's like a lamp for a house, right? So what I do in the winter is I turn it on and I actually, so usually when you're using a lighting kit, you're bouncing light. So the light would be pointing at the umbrella and bouncing back at me. But what I do in the winter when it's super dark and depressing is I actually invert it and I turn it on here like a little sun. So one, it makes me feel better because I feel like I still have sunlight when it's like dark at like five o'clock. And also it then kind of gives the effect that you're seeing right now where it is like soft and more natural light, but it's, it's just like a light sand. I love that. That's such a great tip. And I actually have never heard anyone talk about that before. And I love doing all the things for YouTube setups that just speak your life easier, but also that don't require a lot of investments. So some other people have these like really high tables that they put things on top. And literally what I do, like if I could turn my laptop around, my laptop is literally propped on a whole bunch of magazines so that it's further up so that I don't sit back here and have a double chin. And the <laughs> camera is level to or like the face. angles, not like Hi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So literally just play around with what you have in your home, be it a lamp, magazines, um, any lights, the cameras that you already have. Um, yeah. All of that. Yeah, just like make it work and play around. Uh, I would say like another tip that I have, and I hope I can show this to you, is actually recording in Zoom. So I am a fan of now recording, not just like our conversations like this, but I record my videos for my YouTube channel in Zoom for a couple of reasons. And I actually don't think I can, yeah, I don't think you guys can actually see it. Uh, nope, I can't show it to you this way. So what you're able to do in Zoom is down at the bottom, I'll take a screenshot, down at the bottom where it says video settings, you're actually able to control your light as well as touch up your appearance. So let me show you what I mean. I just had to take a screenshot. <laughs> it won't let me, it won't let me show you guys zoom. Okay, so here, yes, I'm making a funny face, but you can see here that if you go to video settings, right here, you can touch up your appearance so I'm not wearing makeup other than lipstick because I don't like all that stuff. And also here it can say adjust for low light. So especially in those winter months where it's getting dark, you can actually uh, in Zoom make things brighter. And so that it, if your lighting is not good, you can kind of fix it that way. I love that because all of these tools, you don't even need to be on the paid Zoom account in order to do that. You can just record your screen with a free Zoom account. You can create your YouTube videos using tools you already have and upgrade as you have more investments that you can put back in your channel. But the secret here, and I feel like the bottom line to all of this is that you just need to get started. And depending if you have the latest model of the camera, a tripod, a lighting system, and all of that, just get started with what you have and just see how things go down the line. Definitely. And Marina also has this great video on how to make YouTube videos without showing your face. Even though I'm sure your face is gorgeous and lovely and we want to see it, you don't have to share it. So if you enjoyed this conversation, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got new videos every Wednesday and Friday and check out Arena's channel. Yeah, like subscribe over here. I show you how to stand out online and post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And also click on this video over here to keep watching more amazing content. And we'll see you next week.